Welcome back to Hoodies. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, the front end of my C30 is looking, well, it's looking a bit rough. Somebody in LA backed into me while I was parked, and this is what my front end has looked like ever since. Obviously, the grill is missing, my license plate is cracked, and well, all my paint's coming off. But we're gonna make this look just a little bit better today. So I recently picked up this carbon fiber grill for the C30 and I really like how it looks. If you haven't seen the last video, I customized it with this 940 badge and you can check that out up there. Now for today's project, we're just going to be installing this grill onto the C30, but it's not as simple as it seems. We actually have to remove the entire front bumper of the C30 just to put this on. So let's get started. So first, Let's pop the hood. So if you look at the very front of the bumper, you'll see these five rivets right here. So we're going to go ahead and remove these. And all you have to do is push down on the center piece and then pry it up with a flathead. Let me show you. So we're going to push down, hear that sound, and then go ahead and pry them, just like that. Should be fairly easy. Now that all of these rivets are removed, you can go ahead and remove these T25s on each end of the bumper right here. Now you'll have to remove these five T25s on this liner. One of them's missing right here, but you can see that I turned the wheel so it's easier to get these. You'll have to turn it both ways. So first do these four, and for the fifth one, you gotta turn it the other way. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo these right now. Once you remove those T25s from the liner, we're gonna go ahead and take out these headlights, which is insanely easy. This is seriously insane. I love Volvo for doing this. So all you gotta do to take the headlight out is find this metal retainer. Go ahead and pull that out. And then you just push and the entire headlight comes out just like that. Now that the headlights are out, go ahead and find this corner piece and just pull that up, out a bit. Just get that loose, just like that. And the other side. All right, lastly, there are these retaining clips under here. So you just kind of move these around and pull those out like so. All right, and now the bumper should just pull straight out. Disconnect your fog lights if you have them. All right, there it is. Woo. So the reason why we had to remove the entire bumper just to put this grill on is because there's screws that are used to attach this that can only be put on from the inside. So what we're gonna do now is line this up in the front. I've got the screws. I'm gonna go ahead and secure it to the bumper. All right, that is looking nice. Now, I'm just gonna put everything back together just the same way we took everything apart. I'm not gonna show you guys that, but you will see the end result right about now. Oh man, that is, that looks super, super nice. But 
This thing looks crazy in the sun. So I'm gonna park it in the sun for you guys and then we'll get some nice B-roll shots. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked what you saw. I love how this turned out. I'm very pleased and I think it really adds a nice, unique, aggressive, but still kind of classy look to the car. So that's all I have today. Thank you guys again for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one. Fight. Fight. Fight.